Good morning, my lovers. I'm back out on my fields. I'm cowering behind this here tree because it's really windy today. I've, I had five, I got, I got five signals. I put five pegs out and this is the moo tube field. Four of them were moo tubes and one was a bit of lead. But I got a signal over there. Oh, I got a signal over there that sounds a bit high for a moo tube. So hopefully it's not going to be one. Oh, look, since I've been chatting to the camera, my holes filled up with water. Mm, it was a bit... Yeah, 36. Now, 30 is usually moo tube uh, signals. So uh, hopefully, this is going to be not... Uh, turn that off. Hopefully, this is not going to be a moo tube. Hopefully. Mm, banging signal. Oh, it's a pesky moo tube. I think it's a relic. What's that? It looks like gold. It does look like gold. Right, I'm going to get this cleaned up and I'll get back to you. Oh, I thought it was going to be gold, but I'm not so sure now. It's a bit light. It's definitely a gold colour. It looks like it's had something on there. Don't know. Right, on to the next. God, I just turned something up here. I said, what the beep is that? What's that? Go, ain't half heavy. Is it a huge vaporizer? Uh, right, I'll go and clean this off in a puddle. And we'll see what it is, but it's just a big black box with something coming out of the top. Ah, is that a terminal? That's wires. That, that, that this is a battery. Is it? No, it can't be a battery. It's only got one. It's only got one terminal, so it can't be a battery. Unless that's another terminal. That could be another one, but it's a bit of a strange place. You'd have two terminals at each end, wouldn't you? Not in the middle. Right, I'll get it cleaned up, see if there's any writing on it. Right, there it is. It's been battered. It's got some sort of a fixing point there, it looks electrical. Uh, might have a wire, oh, that's a wire coming out of there, look. So there must be one coming out of that side. That's a good big wire there. And it's got writing on it. And it says, just there. Oh. Yeah, it says, S S A S oh five nine and then it says GPO now GPO that sounds familiar and then BT well that's British Telecom BT and then it looks like N9 stroke 13 and then uh, two three four on the bottom so that's BT that's telecom in it British Telecom can't see anything on there so I reckon this might be falling off the uh, wires, overhead wires, maybe. What do you think? A good big black box. <sighs> if it had screws, I'd take it apart, but I can't see any. Unless they're in these holes. So whatever that is. Oh, I got something nice down this here hole. <laughs> Oh, it's a nice high tone. It's rapidly filling with water. Ugh. We've had some rain. It's right there. Ugh. Nope.
I don't feel anything, anything like a nice hammered coin. Mm. Oh, I'm gonna have to put my spade in there. Oh no, I got a peg in my pocket. I'll use that. Ugh. Oh, I felt something. I felt something hardish. Uh. <laughs> oh, no. Nope. I need to take lessons off Aquichigo, me thinks. Oh. 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 It's out. It's out. So it must be over there. Right here. Oh, what's that there? That's hard. Uh, let's wash it off in this puddle. It's just formed. Oh, oh, it's a little gaming piece. Oh, right, that's nice. Ah, uh, yeah, it is a gaming piece of some description. Right, let's get you a bit closer. Yeah, it's a little gaming piece. Probably went on a drafts board or something like that. Oh, nothing on it. There you go. Lovely jubbly. On to the next. Oh, I think I've just found some silver. Woohoo, silver. I had this. That's where I just had the little gaming piece. And I had this very low signal next to it. Very low. Look at that. 10.05 like, you know. 10.03. 10.05 like, really low. Just never know what you're going to dig, do you? So those foily signals, you've got to dig them. You've got to dig them. Right, just I that, gave that a quick wipe and it looks silverish. Looks like silver. There you go, look, look at that. That's silver. Oh, but what is it? Right, I'm going to clean it off in this puddle that's just formed. It looks a bit mangled. So it might be a bit tricky getting some sort of ID off of this thing. It might be a cane tip or something along, along those lines. Yeah, probably someone having a game of drafts probably dropped it. Yeah, whatever it is, it's mangled, but it looks like it had a pattern on there. I got, so you can see like little flowers or something in there, a little dot, circle and dot design there. So it's probably something like a little cane tip. Right, let's detect around here a bit more. They might have dropped some gold coins as well. Go on, my heart just fluttered a beat. I thought I just had a hammered coin, a gold hammered. Look at that, looks perfect, doesn't it? That looks just like a hammered gold coin. But no, it's a bottle top with some letters on it. So that's why yeah, I thought I'd film it. And it says, oh, uh, oh it's got M and B with a little circly thing and a star on top. What's that then? Oh, it's starting to rain. I might go and have a cup of coffee in under a tree. Oh, that's it me lovers, I'm cream crackered. I've got me beer and uh, I'm gonna drink this and uh, I'm gonna head off home because it's been really windy and um, and I don't wanna get caught out in a, like a hurricane force winds when I'm trying to cycle home on a pedal bike. You know, it could be, could be really dodgy, dangerous even. <laughs> I might be uh, hugging a few hedges on the way home. <laughs> right, yeah. Looks as if it's brightening up a bit, but I'm, I don't want to, I, I was touch and go where I came out today really because of the weather. Um, it, it looked as if it was going to be raining all day. Well, it, it sort of has been raining all day, but my uh, CTX is waterproof to three meters, so it don't, and uh, I'm waterproof to a degree. Um, so uh, hopefully I'll be, uh, I'll be back out tomorrow with Tony and we're going to be detecting 
uh, the field where I found that epic relic with the uh, with the three moons. So, cheers!